Mr. Prasad? They got her? God damn it. Fuck this place. Fuck it. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. How civilized. Around here, we save trials for those whose guilt is in doubt. But if that's what you want, I'll introduce him to Judge Watkins. He always follows the law. I'd like to bring all the Dorseys to justice. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. Vengeance is fine, honorable even. Just don't forget that your primary reason for being here is to save my nation. That's how Arizona gets what it needs. Now, oh, introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado, though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now... Yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. Pleased to meet you, Rangers. No sudden moves no. around the Patriarch. No sudden moves around the Patriarch. I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? Ah, uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. Oh man, more every day. This place is nice and all. Kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but it's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. We gotta finish up our business with the Patriarch and get the supplies he promised us back home. People are counting on us. My folks are counting on us. Sorry. I just want to get this done and get back to him. Later! Don't let me hold you up. You have business in your new headquarters. 
not make me come down there. <laughs> Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base, your rules. Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah, let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself think. The security computer is up those stairs. You can shut off the Word alarm of from warning there. with those servitors. They tend to go nuts if you ask them to disobey orders. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished them. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Protection? You think I need protection? Stop trying to be smart and listen. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. 
They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Now, let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? What do you want to know? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else... Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The Hundred Families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Possibly. But I know the Dorseys from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. Good. What else do you need? Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Enjoy yourselves, Rangers. Just don't get killed. I want a return on my investment. All right, let's move out.